up early, Lily. Good morning to you too, Dad. How do I look? Dapper, where are you going? I'm going on my business trip. Another one? Weren't you just in LA last week? Yeah, but this one's in Sacramento, so it's closer. It's only a couple hours. When are you coming back? Uh, four days, so on Tuesday. Do you need some? No, just curious. It seems like you're rarely ever home now. Yeah, well, that's because you're in college now. You don't need me around as much, and we're closing more deals. I see. Okay, well, Mom and I are going to miss you. Drive safe. Will do. And good luck on that psychology exam. Yeah, thank you. Grace, can you come over here really quick? Okay, so, what happened? Nothing. Well, nothing happened yet. Or something's been happening, I don't know. Girl, you don't just tell me. I think my dad is having an affair. Sorry, I just have never said those words out loud before. Your dad? An affair? But why? Didn't they just celebrate their 20th anniversary? Yeah, I don't know. I just, it's a feeling that I've been having and he's been going on all these business trips lately. Okay, well not everything is the way that it seems. Maybe the company is just closing more deals. That's exactly what he said. I don't believe him. I think he's using these so-called business trips to meet other women. Okay. Okay, say you're right. How would you even prove it? It's not like you can base this off of a gut feeling. You're right, and that's why I need you. What? I don't have any actual evidence of the affair, but I went through his email and I found the Airbnb reservation. It has the address and everything. So all we have to do is drive over there and see for ourselves. I don't know, Lily. Isn't this like spying on him? Well, yeah, but people do stuff like this all the time. And if he's cheating, then he's the guilty one. And if not, I'll just say I came to surprise him. Okay, fine. But we're taking your car. Gas is too expensive. Deal. I should have felt good about this. Wouldn't you want to know if one of your parents was cheating? I mean, I guess so, but I don't even know if this is legal. Okay, well, that's the Airbnb over there. I don't see his car parked there yet. I'm just gonna have to wait until we see it. Okay. Well, I'm gonna take a nap if that's cool with you. Yeah, go for it. I'll wake you when he gets here. Grace. Grace! What? Yeah, I'm up. He's here. Mm, that was a good nap. Okay, start recording. <sighs> I can't believe this. Lily, I can explain. Explain what? There's nothing to explain. I trusted you. We trusted you. Mom and I, you're a cheater. Lily, it's not what it looks like, I swear. <laughs> Why should I believe a word that comes out of your mouth? You've been lying to us, and I'm gonna tell Mom. Have a nice life. Lily, wait! We can talk about this inside! Lily, come on! Can you text my mom and tell her I have something important to tell her when I get home? Yeah, yeah, anything you need, Lily. Come on, Lily, let's talk! Is everything all right, Lily? Mom, there's something I need to tell you, and I don't really know how to tell you, but just please don't freak out. Uh-oh. Are you pregnant? What? No. No, I'm not pregnant. It's about Dad. You know these business trips that he's been going on? Yeah. Is he okay? On the contrary, he is more than okay. I saw him with another woman, and it looked like they were more than friends. Here. Mom, Dad's cheating on you. I know. 
What? You know about his affair and you're not doing anything about it? Lily, your father has his own life to live, and I can't control everything he does. <sighs> what do you mean, his own life? He's your husband. You're not mad that he's betraying you? No, because he and I agreed on this arrangement. Sebastian, it's time that we tell her the truth. I'm sorry. I don't understand. Your mom and I have been separated for seven years. What? We separated but chose not to divorce to keep the family together. And we also decided we could date other people if we wanted. <laughs> no, no, no. This can't be real. You lied to me. You've been lying to me for seven years. That's unbelievable. You have to understand. No, stop. I don't want to talk to either of you. An affair? But why? Didn't they just celebrate their 20th anniversary? We separated but chose not to divorce to keep the family together. You lied to me. You've been lying to me for seven years. That's unbelievable. Go away. Lily, it's Grace. Grace? What are you doing here? You haven't answered any of my calls, so I just wanted to come by and check on you. Well, if you can't tell, I'm not in the best mood. I know, that's why I'm here. Can I come in? Okay, fine. Hey, you. You look like you need a hug. What happened? <sighs> My parents have been lying to me for seven years. They've been secretly separated. Seven years. Oh my gosh. I thought your dad just had a side chick. I'm sorry. How are you feeling? Lost. I just feel so lost, Grace. It feels like my whole world is just crumbling down around me. I would probably feel the same way. It just sucks. I used to brag to my friends about my parents and how they would never fight and how I wished for a relationship like theirs in the future. But it was all fake. I understand that. And you're valid for feeling that way. I just don't know what to do now, though. I think you should hear them out. Hear them out about what? They broke up and they kept it a secret from me for, like, half my life. But do you know why? I mean, I'm not saying that they're right for keeping it from you, but if you heard their reasons, maybe it would make sense, and maybe it's not so bad. All right, I guess I'll listen to them, but I can't promise that I'll forgive them. You don't have to, just hear them out. Okay. Thank you for being here, Grace. I appreciate you so much. Okay, now go talk to them, and I'll wait in here. Okay. Lily, hey, we want to talk. Have a seat. We know this has been a lot to take in, and we're really sorry we kept this from you. Why, Mom? Why? I don't want an apology. I want to know why you guys acted like everything was fine. You took me on family vacations. We celebrated anniversaries, and I believed in your love. So what was the reason? We thought we were protecting you. We didn't want to see you watch us be unhappy, and we wanted to provide some stability while you were still a kid. In hindsight, it was wrong of us to keep this from you. But we want you to know that our separation was mutual. We just didn't want to go through a messy divorce that would have hurt you even more. Were you ever really in love? Of course we were. But time passed and we fell out of love. We had a difficult decision to make. And we didn't want to put you through the pain of a nasty divorce. And your dad and I thought we might get back together. So we didn't want to do anything permanent. I feel like I don't know you anymore. 
Again, we are sorry for not being honest with you, and we understand that we broke your trust, but we want to mend it. We love you more than anything, Lily. That's why we still live together. Caring for you has been our priority. I understand that this was a hard decision. And while I don't agree with it, I do appreciate hearing your side of the story. Things are not always as they seem. I do ask for one thing, though. Anything, Lily. No more secrets. I'm your daughter, and you need to be transparent with me all the time. Of course. From now on, no more secrets. I appreciate that. But actions speak louder than words, so don't make promises that you can't keep. We'll do our best for you, Lily. Okay, one more thing. Yes, honey. Can I have a hug? <laughs>